Uh, welcome to video number 201 and today's video is based on simultaneity bias in econometrics models. Uh, let me start with the definition of uh, simultaneity bias. Uh, when we run a regression using OLS, we assume that the explanatory variables are exogenous, that is they are not determined within the equation. If the explanatory variables are endogenous, the estimates which are produced by the OLS model are biased. And this means estimators are not blue, that is, these estimators are not best linear unbiased estimators. Therefore, RT and F statistics are invalid. And this is known as a simultaneous equation bias in econometrics. However, a potential problem occurs with deciding which variables are exogenous. There are certain measures which can be used to overcome the bias. One of the ways to overcome the simultaneous equation bias is to form reduced form equations in which we arrange our model by a process of uh, substitution until all the explanatory variables are exogenous. We will discuss this uh, in detail a little bit later. Another method which involves using instrumental variable techniques and that involves finding exogenous variables to act as instruments for the endogenous variables. Another way to overcome the problem of uh, simultaneity bias in the finance literature is to estimate a system of equations that is known as a vector autoregressive approach that is war model. Let me start with the reduced form equations approach. When producing a reduced form equation, we have to ensure our equation is identified. And that means that we can form the coefficients in our structural equation from the estimated reduced form coefficients. There are basically three forms of identification that is exactly identified and in this situation we can form unique values for the structural equation uh, coefficients under identified in which case it is not possible to form the structural coefficients and over identified equation when we produce more than one value for the structural coefficients. Then there are order, con order condition of identification to determine if an equation is identified, under identified or over identified, we need to apply the order condition. We also need to test the rank condition in theory, however, the order condition is usually adequate to ensure identifiability. The easiest way of applying the order condition is to use the following. In a model of m simultaneous equations, in order for n equation to be identified, it must exclude at least m minus 1 variables. Examples of a order condition, the following equations have number 1 is exactly identified and equation 2 is over identified. Uh, yt is equal to alpha naught plus alpha 1 st plus alpha 2 gt plus uh, ut and st is equal to beta naught plus beta 1 st minus 1 plus vt where gt is exogenous st minus 1 is predetermined or exogenous. Indirect least square. This consists of three stages. The first stage uh, means that uh, we have to obtain the reduced form equations and then apply OLS to the reduced form equations and finally we have to obtain estimates of the original structural coefficients form from the estimated reduced form coefficients. This approach assumes the original equations are exactly identified. Instrumental variables. We have already discussed this topic in uh, my other videos in greater detail, but uh, here also I will uh, uh, highlight this. An instrumental variable can be interpreted as uh, a proxy for a variable which suffers from simultaneity. In effect, 
the instrumental variable is highly correlated with the endogenous variable but is uncorrelated with the error term. If such a variable exists, OLS can be used to estimate the model with the instrumental variable instead of the endogenous variable. And one way to incorporate an instrumental variable into a model is to use two stages least square method. Two stages least squares given the following model where equation 1 is over identified and uh, there are uh, two equations xt is uh, exogenous st minus 1 is predetermined now let me uh, concentrate on stage 1 of the two stages d square uh, to get rid of the correlation between the endogenous variable st and the residual ut in equation 1 regress st on all the predetermined exogenous variables in the system in this case it is just xt and st minus 1 is the explanatory variable. Then we will obtain the fitted values of the variable st which is uncorrelated with the residual. This can now be used as an instrument in the original equation. Stage 2. The final step involves regressing the initial equation 1 but using the fitted value for st as an instrument for st. The fitted value is a good instrument because it is similar to ST but uncorrelated with the residual. The standard errors will need to be adjusted. However, this is a fairly standard routine that most computer software automatically completes. Some features of two stages least squares. It can be directly applied to an equation in a system without needing to take into account any other equations. It can also be used for both exactly identified and uh, over identified equations. Easy to use, the only information required is what the exogenous variable variables are. Given that the simultaneous equation can be calculated, standard array can be calculated, T statistics can also be used. Uh, it is a large sample technique. Then the other approach is the war model that is vector autoregressive approach. To overcome the problems of endogenous variables, one way around the problem is to estimate a system of equations. All the equations are identified as we exclude all the level variables as explanatory variables. In this case, there are as many equations as there are variables in the system with each variable acting as a dependent variable. This dependent variable is then regressed against legs of the other variables in the system and itself. The leg variables are predetermined or exogenous. Uh, when specifying the war model, it is important to decide on the optimal number of legs to include. Uh, equities and interstate, there is a model R1T and uh, ST and these are the two equations. There are certain assumptions of uh, the war model and uh, OLS estimation of a single equation in the unrestricted war. The results are uh, given here. There are 1, 2, 3 observations used for estimation from 1961 quarter 2 to 1991 quarter 4. And uh, these are the various uh, variables, their coefficients, standard errors, uh, T ratios and uh, probabilities. These are the results. Uh, what are the main uses of uh, war system? Uh, this model is often used to link different markets such as the bond and stock markets. Uh, you can test for causality between variables and the mean use is uh, forecasting due to, the, due to the dynamic nature of uh, this model. It can produce reasonable dynamic forecast of the variable in the system. When the war is adapted slightly, it can be turned into a vector error correction model also and this can be used for 
assessing long as well as short run relationships. Uh, then we have causality tests. Regression itself does not imply causality. To test for causality, a leg model needs to be used. Granger causality is the main approach to testing for causality in uh, general. In general, the term causality is not used. Instead, it is said A Granger causes B. Granger causality tests can also be used to determine if a variable is exogenous or not. To test for Granger causality between two variables, simply run the following var. That is, r is a function of uh, r with legs and uh, st with leg values. Similarly, st is a function of uh, its leg values and uh, the leg values of uh, r. To determine if there is any evidence of uh, causality from S to R, we conduct uh, an F-test for a joint significance of the leg explanatory variables. If jointly significantly different to zero, then causality run from S to R. If the same process is, is carried out on the other equation and this time the leg explanatory variables are insignificant, we say S causes R. If we carry out the tests on both the equations and it appears S causes R and R causes S, then we have bicausality. That is, causality runs in both directions. Many argue this suggests an invalid relationship between the variables. Some conclusion. Uh, simultaneous equation bias is a serious problem in econometric model. We can, to an extent, overcome this problem by using a reduced form equation approach. Assuming the equation is uh, exactly identified. Another way around the problem is to use a VAR model, where all explanatory variables are legged, therefore predetermined. Or we may also use uh, two stages least square by introducing instrumental variable, which is used instead of the endogenous variable. Ladies and uh, gentlemen, uh, if you haven't yet uh, subscribed uh, to Research Made Easy with Himi Khan, kindly subscribe to the channel and uh, do not forget to click on the bell icon so that you can get information about my other videos that uh, I'll upload for you soon. I'm very grateful to you for uh, watching this video. If you have any question, kindly um, Note it in the comments and uh, ask me any question. I will get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you and uh, 